This lesson was prepared by Jacqueline Heinel and Sam Durup as part of the National Science Foundation supported Boat of Knowledge in the Science Classroom books. This lesson covers the topic of tree identification. This lesson is to be presented in conjunction with hands-on leaf identification activities. By the end of today's lesson, you will be able to identify trees commonly found in the state of Ohio using an online dichotomous key. A dichotomous key asks you specific questions with one or two answers and will allow you to narrow down the possible trees based on leaf morphology, or basic parts of the tree that can be used to determine the type of tree you are looking at. First is the bark, the outermost layer. Tree species will have distinctive bark characteristics. The stem, smaller branches where leaves attach, can also be indicative of tree species such as maple, ash, dogwood, or buckeye. These trees all have opposite branching patterns. Leaves are the part of the tree that converts solar energy into sugars. These are the most distinctive morphological features for identification but are seasonal and deciduous trees. Flowers and fruits are the reproductive structure and product of a tree. They are also very useful in tree identification but are much less reliable and rarely found on the tree themselves. Today we will be using leaves to identify the species of tree. There are two main types of trees, coniferous and deciduous. Coniferous trees, like pines and firs, have specialized leaves or needles that remain on the tree year-round. Deciduous trees lose their leaves every year in Ohio in the fall. Deciduous trees occupy a specific niche. They occur readily in forests with an average temperature near 50 degrees Fahrenheit with 30 to 60 inches of precipitation a year. These areas also have four distinct seasons, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. It is during the autumn season when deciduous trees lose their leaves. This map shows where deciduous forests can be located worldwide. As we can see, deciduous forests can be found across the eastern half of the United States. There are two main types of deciduous leaves, simple and compound. A simple leaf has a single leaflet attached to a branch via petiole. A compound leaf is one with multiple leaflets attached to a single petiole. It is important to note that the petioles are different than stems as they are not woody. Common forest type we have in southeastern Ohio are mixed oaks forest and in the northwest are largely beech or elm ash swamps. The difference in forest type is largely due to the difference in geology and soil age between glaciated and unglaciated parts of the state. We will now walk through an example of how to use the online leaf dichotomous key to identify a tree of interest. This key can be found at www.olin.org slash tree slash index.html. First, we will select the identify by leaf option. Please note, you can also use this site to identify tree by fruit nut following the same procedure. You will advance through the dichotomous key, clicking on the image of the correct answer when describing your leaf. Please note that the questions will change depending on how you answer the previous questions. In regards to the type of leaf, you will decide if the leaf is a needle, scale, broad, or flattened. In this example, the leaf can be described as broad. The question asks if the leaf is compound, many leaflets on a single petiole, or simple, a single leaflet on a single petiole. In this example, the leaf we are looking at is a compound leaf. We are then asked about the margins of the leaf, or the edge of the leaf. Is it coarsely toothed, smooth, or toothed? In our example, the leaf is serrated, or toothed. We are then asked about the relative size and shape of our leaflets. Our leaf has leaflets that are larger on the distal end of the leaf compared to the basal leaflets. Next, you are asked to count the leaflets. Our leaf has five to seven leaflets attached to a single petiole. Now that we have narrowed the options to shagbark hickory and pignut hickory, as our leaf is 12 to 20 inches long, we conclude that the leaf we are looking at came from a shagbark hickory. When you select shagbark hickory, we are then taken to a page that describes the leaf and fruit characteristics, as well as a general description of the tree. Continue using this dichotomous key to identify the types of leaves you have collected. 